Hi, this is Texas Dave. This is this is oh, this buggy needs a breath mint. <laughs> <laughs> Just arrived here at a remote, undisclosed location. You might recognize the Sierra cars. I feel like the only time I ever see it is Sierra cars are involved. <laughs> That's it. How are you, buddy? Hey, good to see you. What's up, Johnson? How's it going, man? Good to see you. What's up? What's up, Cole? Hey, busy Blair. What's up? So we're in uh, Chipotle. We just ate there. Did you? What's up, John? How you doing, buddy? What's up, Zach? What's going on, man? Good How to see you. Doing? Thanks for dinner the other night. Oh, you're welcome. Way. You didn't really eat. He just drank. But uh, technically, it's a liquid <laughs> diet, I guess. <laughs> well, it looks like it's going to be a good day out here at this undisclosed location. Top Can you tell us GPS about this or what? Nope. No. GPS function see? off. See? Just let you know that this is Texas Dave, and he's in. California. Easy, 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 dude. They don't even know all that where we are. They don't even know state. <laughs> we're Wyoming. in Mexico. Everyone yeah. says Mexico. Hey! hey. hey. Buenos dias, amigos. <laughs> Bienvenidos. A mi casa. They dirt. I don't know how to say dirt. Sorry. We're going to go for a little track preview, check out the property, and then we're going full set. What's up? I'm here with Cole from Sierra Car and we're at this undisclosed location and we're actually out here to test the new Sierra Car, the entry level Sierra Car. It's a 700R and Cole's going to tell us a little bit about it. Well, it's a, it's a brand new car. It's the same RX3 package that we know and we've been developing for over two years. Um, we just kind of simplified it a little bit. So it's a single cylinder, 700cc, makes about 60 horsepower. You still have a sequential transmission, you have the bonus of reverse, uh, and you have all the years of development in, an, in a new tidy package. So it brings the cost of operation down a little bit, um, but the fun levels are still at a max high. So I'm excited to get you in the car because you have so much RX3 experience that um, I'm looking for that opinion. Same suspension setup, same geometry. The only thing that's different is basically the motor package. Yep. We were able to shave, shave about 100 pounds off from the standard RX3. So this thing fully dressed, full of fuel, 850 pounds, um, ready to go. So it's just a bit more nimble. It's, it's tough to explain, um, but it's such a torquey engine, you know, where the, the Hayabusa is the big power yeah. um, and a higher top speed. This, uh, this seems to chug around on the low speed stuff really, really good. Uh, and then you get it in the dirt and it feels like it has just as much power as the Busa cars. Yeah, we're going to put some GoPros on it so you can check out some suspension travel.
Uh, this uh, this is my good friend Texas Day from Rally Ready. Hi y'all. Wow, we finally got the sort of initial layout of all the rally stages here. Uh, and so they invited us out to kind of come check it out, see what the um, see what the vibe is. And uh, did you do it again? Did you seriously? Did you SBD me, dude? <laughs> Drop the SBD, dude. <laughs> There's gonna be a. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Lucky Basket. So hot right now. So hot right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a couple clients and some really dear friends who uh, reached out a couple years ago and had this property in Southern California that they were working on building a uh, road course in their own facility at. Uh, and asked if I would come and help consult a little bit on some of the rally stages. So we designed these tracks about eight months ago. Um, I sort of helped with the initial cut, which meant I just walked and a dozer followed me and made tracks behind me. Um, and so we did some of the initial testing and some UTVs, uh, but they called us a few weeks ago, said that they finally had a rally car out here, wanted us to come see it, um, get a feel for kind of some of the track, the layout, before they did some of the final grade and added all the gravel and the rest of the facility improvements. So uh, I have a new track I wanted to check out. Um, Cole had a new car he wanted to check out. We had some buddies nearby, so the following shenanigans ensued. Thanks for t thanks for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to like and smash that like and subscribe. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Brett from Y'all Sport out in Ramona. You might recognize him from my handbrake install. He helped me install my lines. Yep. And the little the plumbing action. And today is his first time jumping in a Sierra car. Literally jumping in a Sierra car. So yeah. Brett's gonna jump in the car, do a couple reconnaissance laps yep. and yeah. <laughs> put the hammer down. Yep. Take it easy at first for sure though, but we'll see. Find some spots to play a little bit. Yeah. And he's driving, he's also gonna be driving the 700R car, which is coming in now. Hard. You guys, I like this. No, that's fine, man. You that look is good a, out there. It's a lot of work. It's getting really bumpy. Yeah, it's a lot of big ruts kicking in now. Yeah. It's super fun. It's crazy that this little car can travel through so fast. It's really fun.
amazing. I just wrung the living shit out of that thing and it did not even get phased at all. Like it handled everything. It handled it. Like didn't bottom out. I mean, we were going over some pretty whoopy shit. Damn. Yeah, if you haven't driven one of these, you need to get yourself behind the wheel immediately. They'll be out at rally ready in no time. I think next weekend, after next weekend, you'll be able to drive in these things. And I definitely highly recommend it. In a world where you like and subscribe to this channel, all good fortune will come your way. That was magnificent. Dude, your breath, man. <laughs> <laughs> like hot Cheetos and Takis, dude. That's nachos.